I know what that means, so I, I need a piece of paper here too. <laughs> Notice the difference, it's kind of smaller. I'm going to make this quick because uh, Spence is dying to dance by himself. <laughs> okay, I understand that. <laughs> Number four and five. It can't be an easy spot in the lineup. Spence wasn't allowed to talk as a child. Because <laughs> his sisters and I talked too much. <laughs> so we talked to his imaginary friend and himself. <laughs> I think his name was Jack. It was. It was. It was Jack. It was Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom said he was special. <laughs> he is special. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty tough on him as a kid. He was much smaller back then. It's nice being up here. <laughs> we were waiting one day for Dad to finish packing the van on our way to our annual trip to Canada. We're rough housing the basement. I land on the, I land on the back of his foot. Snap. We both hear it. Before you get under a word, I go, you're okay, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> a week of him lugging around, well, a hospital visit, and a boot on his foot later, he's walking around Canada, in and out of the boat, with a smile on his face the entire time. He's tough. Then we find out he's going to New York City after college. What? <laughs> we hate the Yankees. Yeah! We hate the Yankees. <laughs> Does he have a job there? No. <laughs> Does he know anyone there? Not really. <laughs> That's the kind of guy he is. He was cold calling for employment back when there wasn't a labor shortage. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody thought he was nuts enough in a good way, and they hired him. Nuts enough to dominate Google. He's determined. I always told Ricky to skip the corporate world and go into comedy. It didn't do too bad here, did it? No. A lot of applause for little Rick. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, Spence is the only one that's done an open mic comedy set. Yes. yes! Apparently, if you're so terrible at fantasy football and you lose your league, you can be forced to do something. Yeah. He killed it. Ask his friends. He's funny. That's funny. Spence cares a lot. He lives and dies by his white socks. Woo! <laughs> and so what if he has a fake name on Twitter because he gets into so many arguments there? <laughs> I said more! More. Show a patriotic video. It'll bring him to tears. <laughs> He's passionate. Spence and I have the same taste in music and film. Which is to say, he has great taste. <laughs> Pay attention to the music tonight. He's curated every song. And if you get him out to drink, he might perform a scene from A Few Good Men. <laughs> <laughs> you need me on that wall. <laughs> he has great taste. Oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> What a woman. I didn't mention many of his faults. Grace knows them. <laughs> She's the Jordan to his pivot. She's the accountant to his absent-minded professor. <laughs> Spence had an army of cops chasing him down a major road before. Lights flashing. <laughs> they can't understand why he's evading the police. He's listening to music and just jamming out by himself in the car. <laughs> 
Grace's family should be incredibly proud. It's been an honor to get to know the attorneys. What an awesome family they are. Round of applause for the attorneys. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a weekend with Greg and Kevin. What an impressive young man. Much more responsible than us angst of Grace is as intelligent and caring as she is beautiful. Billy, you'll find your Grace one day. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grace, come on. You got like 17 bridesmaids, not one of them single. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me for a friend to see the ladies. Raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Raise them up, Ricky. 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 Grace, oh, yeah. Does everyone please stand up? Stand up. Stand on the table. Here we go. Who's my dad? <laughs> we love, and I mean love, having Grace around our family. They are the best. Cheers to Spencer and Grace.